Hello, so today we're going to talk about this book right here. This is The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman and it's illustrated by Chris Riddle. It is a graphic novel and it is an amazing, awesome cover and a transparent dust jacket as you can see, which is so beautiful. I'm going to take it off because it makes noise when I hold it. But yeah, this is the drawing on the actual book. Um, and I'll show you close-ups of it as I'm talking. It is a fairy tale retelling about Sleeping Beauty and Snow White, and so it's an adaptation of a fairy tale, um, or a retelling, as I just said. Um, but yeah, I really liked the idea of putting these two people together, the two princesses um, from the fairy tales, and you know, seeing how their stories connect. Um, and I really like the twists as well, just the whole style of it. It was very fairy tale esque I think the author did a really good job. And this is my first Neil Gaiman book, by the way, so it was a great taste of his writing and his ability, and I'm looking forward to reading more of his works. Um, but yeah, I liked the kind of idea, and I liked how the story went, um, and the drawings were just amazing. They just added so much. I loved the detail. Um, and the way that people looked, and the skulls that were everywhere was awesome. Um, and also the limited color palette. Love the limited color palette. Um, but yeah, I just really liked everything about that, about the book. Um, the one thing that I didn't like about the book was I didn't feel like there was enough depth when it came to the plot and also the characters. Um, it feels very on the surface of things, and I know that that's sort of done on purpose because it is a fairy tale retelling and because that's sort of a part of the style. Um, but I just felt like there needed to be... I, I, I wasn't looking for it to be like super dramatic and to have lots of detail, but I just wanted there to be a little bit more to kind of grip me more. I felt when I was reading it, it was an enjoyable experience, but I wanted to connect a little bit more to what was going on or to feel maybe a little bit more tension. Um, and I just kind of felt separate from the story, and as well as that with the characters. Um, if they had had more defining features, or if they had had, um, I don't know, more something more to grip me than, than was presented, I think it would have been better. But yeah, that was kind of my only problem. It was still really enjoyable. I read it like in like 30 minutes or something. Um, so yeah, very quick read, very enjoyable, and I'm glad that I have it because it's a beautiful book and I would definitely recommend it to you. So yes, I'm giving it 4 out of 5, and that is it. That was super quick. Um, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!